Hey y'all, my name is Say Ave, and I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do these soft locks. I did use the butterfly soft lock, but I'm gonna be showing y'all three methods to achieve this look. And the last one is definitely my favorite, so make sure you watch to the end to see the last one because I feel like that's the most efficient one. Subscribe to Say Ave. All right, so of course, as always, you're gonna want your canvas to be blow dried your hair. Basically, yeah, blow dry your hair because that's a good start. So it's detangled and stuff. So first, I'm just parting the first row, and I did this on Facetime so I could see the back of my head. Like I Facetime one phone. I have two phones and I have an iPad, so I'll be Facetime myself on whichever is charged because I don't be charging my devices, but basically i just facetime myself and pre-parted the whole row and this first method is going to be the one where you braid in the soft lock so i'm just braiding it down a couple times and then i'm going to take the soft lock off my pinky and put it on a strand of the braid and then i'm just gonna braid it like you know, i don't think i braided it all the way down but i think i did yeah i did braid it all the way down just to keep it secure but my hair really wasn't staying. I don't know why. But then you're going to take your spring twist hair. This is the hair from the red pack that I just showed you. I didn't show you guys the lock I forgot. But I don't remember what kind of brand I used. But I will have it linked in the description. But basically I just crocheted the piece that I cut into the soft lock. And then I'm going to start wrapping I didn't wrap it as tightly at the top. Well, I wrapped it tight at, at the start, but as I went down, I only was focusing on the ends of my hair because those are the parts that really pop out of the soft lock over time, like really just the ends. So I made sure I wrapped the ends extremely tight also. But as I went down the soft lock for this method, I was not really focusing on the middle of my hair, really just the ends. And then when you're done with the ends, you're going to take some nail glue and glue it right there and palm roll it just so it stays. But yeah, I did the whole roll like that. I was really just experimenting to see which method I liked better. But the second method, I'm just braiding it all the way down. And then I'm going to take the soft lock and I'm going to put it on the whole braid. And then I'm going to crochet the braid into itself, basically folding it. And I like this method the second most because I feel like it was easier, but I did not like that sometimes I couldn't see because it was the back of my head. I couldn't see if I already wrapped the bottom of the lock into the top. And I know one of them, the end of my hair was kind of poking out of the top of my soft lock. But you're just going to keep wrapping like you regularly would. I did add some butterflies into the wrapping hair because I wanted it to match kind of the texture of the soft lock that I added. But y'all, I just really wrapped it the same type of way. But of course, when you fold the hair, you don't have to wrap it all the way down as much. Like it's not as much area to wrap. So that's why I feel like I like this more than the last one because the last one is the one that I know a lot of people do, but this one is not really that much. You can add the butterflies and then all you have to do is glue it like, and that's it. And it's not really that much hair to wrap. And I feel like this one was kind of quick, honestly, to get done, but you do have to wrap it around the loop of the soft lock just to make sure it's not like thin in one area so that's what i did with the rest of the remaining hair after i got done with the part that had my hair in it and now i'm just gluing it with nail glue i'm gonna palm roll it like i usually do that part is probably not necessary but i just enjoy doing it i have no idea why 
but now I'm just crocheting the braid into itself again just to show you again how I did it this is still the second method but the third method will definitely be my favorite y'all but I'm not gonna lie I had ran out of locks I had only got like two packs because I was on a budget like y'all I really be down there like not not for real though but like maybe a little bit sometimes because yeah but anyways I had run out of hair so the next day I had to go get hair and I was doing my hair in the car but I did record it but this night I did end up um braiding all of my hair down just so I wouldn't have to do that much work the next day and parting it because yeah I would have to do that on FaceTime and I really didn't know what direction I was going in with the remaining locks and my hair so Basically, I just braided all of my hair down this night, and because it was nighttime, I could not go to the hair store. I really wish it was a 24-hour hair store. Like, I might gotta open one of them. I ain't gonna lie, but y'all bitches better not try to rob me, because I will shoot you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> but regardless, that was the second method. And as you can see, I did the whole row. I don't know if you can see that last lock on the right. That is the one that I was talking about where I couldn't fully see if I wrapped the end of my hair. But this is the third method. So what you're going to do is open up the lock all the way. And you're going to fold the hair in half. And then I just crocheted that hair into it. And because it was in half, of course, it was thicker and easier to wrap. So I really enjoyed this method the most. And y'all, not too much on my face. I don't know. I was breaking out. I think it was because of my cycle. But I was breaking out really bad. And I was, plus I was just eating whatever. But like I said, you're just going to crochet it in. And I, I had like the soft lock top, not right at the root of my hair, but almost. And then I just started wrapping. And I feel like this is definitely the easiest method to me because you don't have to put the lock and the crochet hair in separately you can just like add it in at the same time and then make sure you're securing it with itself and i feel like that is just genius i don't even know how i came up i was just trying something honestly i did see some of these methods on instagram and like somewhere but like i don't know i just was like let's just do it this way and plus like i said my hair was already braided up and y'all i'm at the park right now i don't know i just be wanting to be outside in the fresh air get some sunlight got the sunroof open type shit but y'all i'm adding butterflies in it too just to match the texture and i'm just really wrapping the same way that you wrap any of the methods but i do like to specifically wrap the ends of my hair extremely tight because like i said those are the pieces that's going to come out first out of the soft lock. And I'm adding nail glue now just to secure it. I know this one was kind of wrapped closer to the end of my hair, but y'all, I would rather my hair stay, but I know I didn't glue my hair. But now I'm doing my edges, and yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys learn how to do your own hair because, y'all, these prices getting ridiculous. But my prices ain't. Y'all should shop with me. Y'all should go mess with my, my hair page. And plus, I throw deals, and I work with you. If you don't got it, I definitely work with you. Thanks for watching, though. I really appreciate you guys.